Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. We've got a new product in our store. It's this stuff right here. And it doesn't look very exciting, but I'm excited. It's called heat shrink tubing. And it shrinks around paracord very easily. And it's useful for a lot of different things. Today we're gonna to be making some zipper pulls. Let's dive right in. So for this zipper pull project, you're only gonna need a couple scraps of 550 paracord. And then we've got quarter inch heat shrink tubing here. This is a three to one shrink ratio. So that's gonna shrink down nice and tight on our 550 paracord. You also need something to melt that with. And so a lighter will work, but it's not the best tool for the job. It's better if you have something like a heat gun, but a hairdryer will do just about as well. We're gonna be making two different kinds of zipper pulls. This first one is super simple. It just uses some cord folded back on itself and one straight piece of heat shrink tubing. So you'll only need about one foot of paracord for this. So we'll be putting it on this front zipper right here. First, you'll just want to string it through. This one's a little small. There we go. Like that. And then we'll get about an inch and a half of our heat shrink tubing. We've got this in adhesive lined and regular styles. We're just gonna be using the, the regular today. Thread that on to both ends. And slide it all the way down. And then in this end, we're just gonna do a simple overhand knot. And you wanna cinch that down right next to your heat shrink tubing. Like that. And then we'll take our heat gun or your lighter or whatever you have and you'll just want to make sure that if you're using a lighter, you keep it away from your piece of gear. And you can put this on a pretty high temperature setting. You just want to make sure that you don't stay in one place too long. Just keep it moving and then you'll get a nice even shrink on there. You can see that's snugged up nice and tight against the cord now. So we have a nice even zipper pull. We'll just cut off those ends to finish it off. All right, there is our straight zipper pull. For our second zipper pull, we're gonna make a nice loop on the side so that it'll hook a finger and just be easy to pull open. For this one, you're gonna need even less paracord, about six inches in the end, but I would recommend cutting it a little bit longer and we'll loop that through the pull, same as before. We'll get about a half inch of our heat shrink tubing. And slide that on. And that'll go all the way down to the base. And I'm not gonna shrink that quite yet. Then we want to take the rest of our cord and just make a nice size loop. Kind of estimate how big you want it to be. But before you cut it, you want to take about an inch and a half again, inch and a half to two inches. And slide that on to one side. Once we cut our cord, that's going to be sitting right here in kind of a curved formation. But for now, it's gotta to go to one side as we cut our cord down to size. So go ahead and cut your cord just past that. There we go. And then we need to melt our ends together before we go any farther. So kind of bend that over to the side and do our little melt. If you use the adhesive lined stuff, then you don't have to do this step. So that is kind of a bonus of, of that variety. Hold that together. There we go. And then we can slide that heat shrink up over the top of that. You wanna keep it relatively straight so you don't get any kinks in there. This one didn't turn out perfect, but I was melting this one with a lighter too. And so just be prepared that if you use a lighter, it's not going to turn out quite as smoothly. So now we can start shrinking our tubing down to size. We'll start with this one. After you're sure that 
your milled mark is in the middle of the loop end. And this one I'm gonna do on low so I don't hurt my fingers as I'm kind of bending that into shape. And as that's still cooling, you can kind of melt that into shape a little bit more too. You can see our meld mark through there. So again, if you wanna avoid that, you can use that adhesive line stuff and we'll cover that in our next video too. We'll make one more of these just to make everything match and then we'll show you the final product. So there's our finished result. I'm super happy with how these turned out. I like them much better than the ones they came with. Easy to just grab it with your finger and pull it open. So I know you guys wanna try this for yourself, so go check those out in our store. We'll put a link to the heat shrink tubing and then of course our 550 paracord down in the description. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next video.